Have you ever wondered why some people can display great strengths even when they do not train their muscles? Perhaps these folks are the descendants of the mighty Greek hero Hercules? Aha! No. It is because these people are blessed with mighty super strength genes. To find out if you have this super strength gene and how you can build greater strength and physique with our tips today, stay tuned and find out in this episode. Hey there, and welcome back, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our show. In this Gene Spotlight show, we strive to bring you regular insights on DNA that you never knew you had in a fun and entertaining way. Uh-huh. Please subscribe to our growing channel and get updated on the release of our new episodes. So hit that big red button below right now. All right, folks. In this episode, we will explore the gene that influences how strong you can potentially be. Yes. Throughout history, we have always been fascinated by the limits of our human abilities. From the days of the legend of Hercules to weightlifting contests in the Olympic Games, there is no attribute that fascinates us more than the limits of our strengths. Yes, sir. I love my muscles too. Unfortunately, you just can't see them under all my beautiful fat and fur. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Billy. However, as strong as you already are, you will be surprised at how strong some humans can be. Take for example, Mikhail Shivyakov from Russia. He is so densely packed with muscle that he weighs over 140 kilograms and can lift weights totaling 426 kilograms more than three times his own body weight. Wow, that's really quite impressive, even for me. And I am generally three to six times stronger than you humans already. <laughs> Maybe we should wrestle one day and see who is stronger. Uh, let's not, unless you trim your claws. <laughs> so, why is it that some people possess such superhuman strength while others can't achieve that? no matter how much muscle training they do. Well, the reason lies in our genes. We are all born differently, and some of us are blessed with genes that allow us to grow muscles faster or use more muscle strength. Do you guys know that we can only use 20 to 30% of our total muscle strength? Yes, that's interesting. In fact, our muscles are actually limited by our brains. Our brains limit our body's strength and use of muscles to avoid self-harm. This is why our brains, rather than our bodies, define when it's time to stop, which is expressed in pain and fatigue when we overexert our muscles. Yes. However, this limit varies from person to person and is certainly influenced by our genetics. So, do you know which gene allows you to increase your limits and gives you higher strength capacity? Allow me to answer that, since I have bigger muscles than you, Josh. <laughs> One of the genes that codes for strength is the AMPD1 gene, or as I would like to call it, the super strength gene. The AMPD1 gene stands for adenosine monophosphate deaminase 1, and it is found on chromosome 1 of our genetic makeup. The AMPD1 gene provides instructions for producing an enzyme called adenosine monophosphate deaminase. This enzyme is found in the muscles used for movement, called skeletal muscles and plays a role in producing energy, specifically during physical activity. As our muscles consume energy when they move, a good expression of this gene simply means we will have more energy for our muscles to perform better and for longer periods of time. Nice! I have no qualms many athletes would want to have this gene for their fitness and bodybuilding activities. Haha, <laughs> you bet! This gene is certainly the type that makes you look fit and good too. In fact, if you have the right variant of this gene, you may even have the explosive power of strength that can allow you to perform superhuman feats, almost like a real superhero. Righto. So Billy, what happens if people have a disrupted expression of the AMPD1 gene? 
Interestingly enough, people with mutated AMPD1 genes actually exhibit a higher incidence of heart diseases and diabetes. Since the AMPD1 gene is expressed at a high level only in skeletal muscles, the association between the AMPD1 disruption and such illnesses still remain unclear. However, a possible reason could be that the disruption of the AMPD1 gene is linked to another gene that creates these problems. Regardless of our AMPD1 gene expression, however, do you have any tips for people who want to build their strength, Josh? Absolutely! In fact, I have 6 tips that you can follow to build your strength and be healthy at the same time. Number 1. Work out at home. When you're spending more time at home, take this opportunity to exercise and lift weights in the comfort of your house. In fact, you can even use some of your common household items as weights. Number 2. Lift heavy. Lifting heavy will improve your strength by growing your fast twitch muscle fibers. You can use dumbbells or kettlebells to train these muscles. Optimally, you need to carry weights that is 80% of your maximum carrying capacity. If the weight feels too light, that means it's not enough to train your strengths. Number 3. Fewer repetitions. As a side effect of lifting heavier weights, you can most likely only lift fewer repetitions, or reps as they call it. These fewer reps will allow you to focus on maximizing the number of reps you can do with heavier weights. A good number of reps with heavier weights would be 4 to 6. A routine of 4 to 6 times is also called a set. Number 4. Rest between exercises. Another important part of training your strength is to have enough rest between your sets. This allows your muscles to recharge and prevent injury. The general rule for building strength is to lift 4 to 6 reps. Rest for 2 minutes and then continue with another set of 4 to 6 reps. Number 5. Take muscle supplements. If you find yourself lacking in natural strength, you can take creatine supplements to boost your muscle growth and strength. Pure creatine monohydrate is the most studied and beneficial supplement for building strength, recommended by bodybuilders worldwide. In fact, if you take creatine, you may find yourself building muscles much faster. Number 6. Rest between workouts. After each workout, it is important for your body to rest and your muscles to repair and grow. You will need about 48 hours of rest between your workout sessions, so pace yourself and work out around 3 times per week. If you work out too often, you may be damaging your muscles instead of building them up. Wow, those are really insightful tips guys. If you ever want to be stronger, do try these tips at home. There is no shortcut to hard work and even if you have a good AMPD1 gene, without proper exercise, you will not realize your true Herculean potential. Yes guys, if you have any friends who want to build muscles effectively, do share this video with them too. After all, this is what we are here for, to educate and help you find answers and solutions. Yes, please do. It might just be of great help. If this has given you new insight and knowledge, please share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Yep, we hope you liked this episode. If you would like any advice on DNA, health, wellness, fitness and beauty, do check out our Ask Your DNA Community Facebook group in the description links below. We have experts in our community who can potentially be of value to your inquiries. Awesome! See you in our next show and catch you in our community. Goodbye! Goodbye everyone!